Hello, my name's Dennis with Quack This Way YouTube channel, and I want to share with you the first nine settings that I would change on my new Sony camera, the Alpha 7.4 or A7.4. Let's get started. All right, you just got your new camera, the Alpha 7.4, as I understand Sony likes it to be called, or the A7.4, and you want to set it up. You know, I'm kind of new to Sony. I've been playing with the menus a lot. Um, I do have the ZV-E10, which I am filming on right now with the Sigma uh, 35 millimeter, or the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. I'm sitting in my front yard because I don't want to record inside. And you know, you're know you looking, you're like, what do I need to change? I'm coming from this from a hybrid shooter perspective, right? I do photo and video, um, which is great. The A7 IV is great for that. That's part of the reason that I got it. I'm able to switch back and forth uh, really easy and they've done some great things. Um, the first thing is the knob on top. It's just key. There's manual one, two, and three, but there's also a switch underneath that that able to take you from camera to video to S and Q mode. And that's the biggest difference for some of the older cameras cameras that I'm able to now have different settings for photo and video and switch between them very, very easily. So what I want you to do is go ahead and put that top uh, dial into M for manual mode and we're going to start in our camera mode as well and go through the settings there to, that need to be updated. Once your camera is on, just hit the menu button. All right, the first thing we want to do is set up image quality for our photos. You have to choose whether you want to do JPEG, you want to do RAW, or you want to do both. Personally, I do RAW only. So on the camera setting in one, if you click over, there is image quality settings, and then I select RAW. I can hit to the left to go back. The next thing I want to change is um, record media. Um, and that is because this has two different SD cards, and so you want to decide what you want to do. I have decided to do the same thing to both, so I copy both of them to, uh, I copy all my photos and videos to both cards. That is in um, the camera, the number two media, and I go to record media settings, and then I select, there's both, there's a camera and a, there's the camera and video mode. I select them and I put them into simultaneous recording. The next thing I want to do is turn off the autofocus illuminator assist. The reason I do that, I shoot at a church or events and I don't want lights being going off in the front of my camera which distracts uh, the people in the event. All right, that is in the autofocus, manual focus number one. You scroll down to AF illuminator and I'm going to turn that to off. Next is changing settings for different settings for camera and movie mode, which is great because now I can be in manual mode and I can flick from camera to video and my settings don't have to stay the same. All right, that is in the toolbox, which is the very bottom one, um, window three, and then different set for still movie. So it gives you some options. You're able to go through and check mark everything that you want to be different. I have aperture, shutter speed, ISO, Picture profile are the ones that I chose to do and I kept the other ones the same. Um, you can change, it, mark any of these that you wanna change. For instance, um, one that a lot of people may wanna do is focus mode. Maybe you're in point focus when you shoot photos and maybe you use wide for video, um, that's an option. So if you don't want that to stay the same back and forth. Um, I have set up a custom quick button um, to change my focus mode. I like to be able to change from wide to spot to spot track and only those three things. And what I'm gonna show you how to make it so you only have three here in a second, but also I'll cover custom buttons in another video. The next thing we want to do is make sure that our camera doesn't overheat and uh, the A7 IV is kind of in the boat that it does overheat if you leave it in a normal setting. So we have to change kind of the overheat settings from standard to high. You'll find that in the toolbox page 9, auto power off temperature, select that and change it to high. The next thing we want to change is our audio signals, right? So all the beeps and things like that, you don't want that going on. Uh, it's quite annoying. Same thing, I shoot events and things and we don't need beeps going off. So that is in um, one page down on toolbox page 10. Go down to audio signals and turn that to off. The next thing we want to do is turn our anti-dust function on. Um, and that allows the shutter to close when the uh, camera is turned off. So if you need to change lenses, you can turn the camera off, the shutter closes, then you can take the lenses and swap it to help protect the sensor. It is on the very last page. 
which is 13 anti-dust function. So toolbox, page 13, anti-dust function. And then you wanted to sh shutter when powered off to on. Now, I accidentally skipped something in my, my settings here, and that was um, selecting or limiting the, the focus modes. For me, I don't, Sony gives you quite a few options for focusing modes, and I don't use them all, right? I only use three, and so you're able to go into the menu and deselect some of them, so that way when you're choosing them, they don't all show up and you have to scroll through so many. Okay, and you can find that on the autofocus page two, and you're going to select focus area limit. When you go into focus area limit, it's gonna give you all the, the focusing options and then you can unselect any that you don't wanna show up. For me, I select wide, um, I do spot, and I do spot or tracking spot small, and I do small. So you can turn off medium or large, maybe you want medium, maybe you want uh, large, whatever you want. So I only have it three. Um, and like I mentioned, then I, I actually map that ability to cycle through those to a button. So that way I don't have to go into the menu to change them. Because if I'm shooting um, a video and I want to focus in on one person, I hit the button three times, boom, I'm in that mode and then I'm able to, to, to get it. So the last thing that we need to do is we wanna add a red bar around the screen so that you can see that you're recording easier. And to do that, we have to flip into the video mode. We go into our menu and we go to the camera setting on the 11th page and you wanna look for emphasize record display. Click that, turn it on. That way you can have a red bar around your um, screen when you're recording to make it so much easier. So those are the nine things. The next thing you wanna do is definitely set up, cut all the buttons. Like I mentioned, I've set up a few. And if you wanna learn how to set up all your custom buttons, go ahead and click on the next video.